And soon, the scripture says, soon, give me that. Give me Isaiah, give me Isaiah 14. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe means death and destruction is coming to the inhabitants of the earth. Go ahead. And of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, and the elites of this society, they, they know what's coming, man. Like Ronald Reagan did the Star, Star, the Star Wars program. Con, con. Why? Because they knew mm -hmm. that there were, they call aliens, but they know who it is. That's right. They know it's the most high and his angels are going to come back and fight and destroy this place, man. And the, and, and the pride of the, the so-called white man has him to the point where he actually thinks he's going to defeat the Most High, man. And it's, it's instances where they sent fighter jets out That's right, to man. go after those chariots, and they just playing with them, man. This one of them, he say, as soon as he pressed the, the button, he didn't even fire the missile. And one time he fired the missile, and the chariot, like, the chariot was playing with him, like it was just chilling. And then when he shot the missile, it just disappeared as soon as he pressed the button. That's right. Yeah, they also got the, the chariots are able to shut down the whole nuclear silos in America. And they've been reporting that on the news multiple times. That a chariot will fly over a nuclear uh, location and everything just shuts down. Or everything turns on. Hey, mm -hmm. they're going to find out who they fucking with, man, real soon. Right. But that's the spirit, man, uh, uh, the most high, that's going to make y'all fight back, man. Because they know that what they up against. It, like the scriptures say, he know that he had but a short time. The elites of the society, they know. They know what time it is. But somewhere in they sick, twisted, deranged ass mind, they think they're going to defeat the most high, man. And they can get their birthright back, because that's really what it boils down to. So they, they figuring that, hey, like the scripture the brother brought out, them fish don't know they going into that net, man. We telling y'all, hey, so-called white man is coming down with great wrath. Because he know he got a short time. So what he, one of his plans is to eradicate everybody on this sign, man. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. Just to prove that who the, uh, the devil is, go ahead. Okay. You want to start at 16 or start from the top of 12? Start at 12. Uh, start at 16. Lay that No, go ahead. Wait, wait. Start at Okay. There's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heavens, O Lucifer? O Lucifer. Lucifer means the, the light bearer, mm -hmm. the one who has the light. And right now, that's the so-called white man. Because really, Yahweh is supposed to be the light bearer. That's right. He is, but he hasn't made his return yet. So that's in the hands of the so-called white man right now. Go ahead. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Right, did weaken the nations. And how are you falling from heaven? That heaven is talking about a, a mind state. And, and right now, this is the so-called white man's heaven. Verse 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Verse 14. I will send above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Right, and that's, hey, nobody doing that. No other nation is doing that but the so-called white man. He is exalting himself as if he is the most high. And one example of that, he's setting up space stations out there in space, man. Building these buildings up to the sky, man. Like the scriptures say, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, this would I bring you down, man. Go ahead. Verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Verse 16. And that hell there is talking about death, man. Somebody put that up for me, Death. The hell, the hell in Isaiah 14. Yes, that's hell, Shaol. That's what it's called. The grave. Oh, you got it right there, man. Hell. Shao. Yeah, that word Shao, which means grave, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning Esau and his whole society mm -hmm. 
in a nutshell, which was brought down from heaven, which is a higher state, is going to be brought down to hell, which is the grave, which is death, which is destruction. Go ahead. Verse 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. Hold on. It said, they that see thee. So that show you is not talking about an angel or something that you can't see or energy. That's somebody that you can see. That's what the scripture said. They that see thee, go ahead. Shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? Right. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? And we got examples of that. When Nagasaki and Hiroshima, it caused the earth to tremble. And guess what? All those, that, that's... Them 200 million missiles, that's going under their account too, under wickedness. They're going to cause the whole earth to tremble, man. Go ahead. Is the this... Heart, sorry. Sorry. The heart machine, um, way, how, they, how they cause earthquakes to happen and shit. That, that's how they make the earth tremble. Uh -huh. How they come with nations' economies and bring famine and death everywhere. They make the earth tremble with that shit, man. That's right. How you were saying how they shooting and testing those nukes underground. Cut, cut. Right. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms? Verse 17. That made the world as a wilderness? Right, because the most the white man is just going around from place to place and destroying it wherever he put his hands on. And he's gonna be the reason America is destroyed and made a wilderness. Because of all his wickedness and atrocities that he's committed here, man. And destroy the cities thereof that open not the house of his prisoners. Right, open not the house of his prisoners. Who are the prisoners? The Israelites, man. They know what it is. They know who we are. Why haven't they opened the gates and let us free, man? That's what that scripture is saying. They haven't opened the gates, man. Actually, they're still deceiving our people. Actually, took our heritage, saying that they're the Israelites, man. telling you it's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> the Israel Post weekly newspaper of the Jewish and Israeli community. So the rats rat on each other. Yeah, the rats. Rat again, rat. They rat on itself. No pun intended. <laughs> the, title, the title of the news article is Putin, we have new weapons to penetrate U.S. Missile defense. Putin reveals he started developing new weapons to beat any missile defenses. Says he is building strategic nuclear strategic nuclear threat against the U.S. by Hesky Ezra. Russian President Vladimir Putin revealed at a meeting on the Russian defense industry that his country is developing several advanced weapons that are capable of penetrating any missile defenses. Putin noted that Russia is working on a strategic nuclear threat in response to the U.S. deploying missile defenses systems in Europe, a move that was taken in response to Russia's aggressive stance seen in its occupation of Crimea from Ukraine. Russia will take necessary retaliatory measures to strengthen the capacity of its strategic nuclear forces. We will work on our missile defense as well. As well, initially, as we have reported, as, as as we have repeatedly said, we will work on the strike systems 
able to overcome any missile defenses, Putin said, according to Sputnik News. In the past three years, the Russian defense companies have developed and successfully tested several advanced weapon systems that are capable of accomplishing tasks in heavy missile defense environments, the Russian president revealed. The Russian armed forces started receiving these systems this year, turning his attention to his allies in Iran and Korea, who in turn the situation on its head by saying the two regimes, one possessing a nuclear arsenal and, arsenal and the other said to be able to be well on its way to achieving to achieving one thanks to the thanks to the recent nuclear deal are not really threats but rather that the US is seeking a nuclear hegemony which means that the the, the, uh, the United States is just pushing propaganda that uh, all these nations are uh, you know are making nuclear threats and stuff like that and that they have all these nuclear missiles in this nuclear arsenal when really the United States is really just trying to be the only nation along with with, with its allies in, in Europe that uh, that has nuclear weapons man so the US really wants to uh, dominate the global empire man militarily right and just to add on you know um, they Vladimir Putin, he has a, a nuclear uh, ICBM known as Satan. And this thing goes, flies up to 10,000 miles in a distance, meaning it can hit anywhere in the globe, and the blast radius is 310 miles. So that means from 310 miles, you're getting hit with fire. And that's not including the radiation that's coming after. Hey, and the radiation, the radiation is extended to over 80 miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Hey, and that's a beautiful name for that missile too, Satan. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the reason why Vladimir Putin is doing this is because it's been coming out in multiple news articles that the United States is constantly pushing their nukes all throughout Germany and different uh, places throughout NATO. And they're, they're actually breaking the non-proliferation nuclear agreement because they both signed it saying they want to be moving nukes from different countries, both Russia and United States. So the United States is breaking their own treaty. It goes to show you how fucked up the United States is. But nobody reads, so that's why you get this was happening. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They putting it in your face. Yep. They ratting on themselves, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Iran and North Korean nuclear missile threats merely cover up the true plans of the U.S., said Putin. Their true purpose is to neutralize the strategic nuclear potential of any other nuclear states except the United States and its allies, including Russia first and foremost. The statement comes a day after a Russian official revealed an, an agreement had been signed with Iran to transfer to it advanced S-300 anti-missile systems, which could be used to defend the Islamic regime's nuclear program from a potential strike. Russia is not the only communist power eyeing new weapons to defeat U.S. systems. China testing a new missile to knock out U.S. satellites on October 30th, which could be a potential crippling weapon to the American defense industry. So it's a wrap, man. Yep. <laughs> and that's from the Israeli Post. Right. So the so-called Israelis over there claim to be the Jews are letting you know what's going down. And they're not the real Jews, so you exactly. yeah, know that. And they, they think they got yeah. a place in this new world order system. Yep. But we're here to tell you, hey, you gonna eat them nukes too, man. The nuke that the most high used you to create, you're gonna eat them motherfuckers, man. Right. Why? Because then it's, it's in the scriptures. Yeah. Let's go. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, who shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Right, and we just go ahead. And the Medes are the modern day Russians. And right now they're being stirred up. And right now Barry Putin's dominating. The Middle East. That's yes, right. Okay. Verse 18. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And there's already reports going out that Russia's been bombing so many people that they're even killing civilians. Yep. So obviously they don't give a fuck about chill women and children. Especially not here in America. Exactly. Oh, hell. Wait till they start attacking this place. Verse 19, and Babylon, which is America, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, ecstasy, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. 
So, hey, and that's, uh, that fire that consumes Sodom and Gomorrah is going to be like a birthday party candle compared to the nukes the Most High going to shoot on this place, man. Right. Right. It's going to be no comparison. And the scripture telling you, Babylon, the beauty of the Chinese excellency, meaning the wise men. Who are the wise men right now? Esau, the so-called elite, the elites of this, of this, of this world, man. This is the, the beauty of, of their excellency, man. And it's, the scripture says it's going to be overthrown like Sodom and Gomorrah. And hey, you don't even got to be a Bible scholar or know anything about the scripture to know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Hey, and all we're doing is tying what we read in the scriptures to current events, man. All this, this is brought out for the, the watchmen, man. This ain't for you shitheads, man. You're going to get caught out there, man. Right. And, and that's how you know that the, that that scripture is talking about uh, thermal nuclear missiles, man. Uh, because it says that their bows shall dash the young men to pieces, man. There's no arrow that could actually break you in pieces, man. Right. It, it just penetrates you when you and you down. And then after that, it says that uh, that uh, Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah by fire from the heavens, man. That's right. So them, those bows, them missiles, those bows and missiles and arrows are coming with fire, man. That new one of the sun, a kind. <laughs>